decided just to take a quick last minute getaway. Destination, Birmingham, Alabama. With an estimated population of 2,903, it's the most populated city in Alabama. Now usually I love to plan my trips, but I didn't worry about it this time um, because I figured Alabama would be full of historical places, great food, music, and just lively, wonderful people. I would definitely find some entertainment or at least just be able to relax and detach from the stress of work. Birmingham is known as the first manufacturing town in the world and was hailed as the city of a thousand trades. The Magic City is the most recognized nickname for Birmingham. It comes from the city's rapid growth, both in its early days and again in the turn of the 20th century when the city's downtown area developed from like a collection of small houses and business to one of the most impressive downtown areas in the country. Also, Birmingham, Alabama is home of the 16th Street Baptist Church. In 1963, this church was bombed by the Ku Klux Klan's members. Uh, the bombing killed four young girls in the midst of a civil rights movement and injured several others. The church is still in operation and is the central landmark in Birmingham Civil Rights District. It was designated as a National Historic Landmark in 2006. Birmingham offers many other sites to see, like the Wayne Science Center, Oscar Wells Memorial, Negro Southern League Museum, and many other historical sites and landmarks. There were so many places that I realized uh, Birmingham had to offer, but I did not get to see due to time restraints and also some of the places being closed due to COVID. The Birmingham Botanical Gardens is 67.5 acres of botanical gardens located adjacent to Lane Park at the south foot of Red Mountain in Birmingham. The gardens are home to over 12,000 different types of plants, 25 unique gardens, and more than 30 works of original outdoor sculptures. The several miles of walking paths is a beautiful sight to just enjoy nature and relax. With more than 350,000 annual visitors, this is a sight to see. While in Birmingham, I stayed in the Ellerton Hotel, which was a really nice hotel. The Ellerton Hotel, it has about 117 rooms, and it was open the summer of 2017 in the historic Empire Building at 1928 First Street Avenue. It's operated uh, in part with Marriott in one of the autograph collections. As always, I was so glad to reach the room. The hotel was very nice. Um, the renovations were beautiful as it displayed many intricate details and designs and artwork. Um, we did run into some cleaning issues with the first room, but the staff was very nice and accommodating and we were able to move into a more suitable condition. Um, the hotel offered even a rooftop bar that I would later go and enjoy and that was very convenient to have um, this source of entertainment right in the hotel. So the um, junior suite that we ended up with had two bathrooms, one that was just right outside of the living area space um, that had a couch in the living room. Then you had the bedroom with two beds and another bathroom, kind of open area, but very spacious, the sink, toilet, and also shower, and what appeared to be like a little dressing area. There was a somewhat of a nice view. Uh, this day, the first day, we had a little overcast in the sky, so it did look a little gray. And But the skyline consists of uh, several buildings, pretty you know, tall buildings, older buildings for the most part, but at night it still was able to give a nice skyline view. So as usual, exhausted from the travels, I'm going to unpack, get a little organized, take a nap, and probably just get ready to go eat and enjoy the night. Hush offered a full bar, bottle service, food, hookah, plenty of seating, and the sound system was on point, with the music selection continually having you wanting to get up out your seat, especially after the second drink. After 
to Hush, we were able to find a food truck with some okay fish tacos to end the night. And we took it in, only to get ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow came and I still was laughing about many of the events that happened the previous nights, but at the same time I was still exhausted and just did not want to get out of this bed, which was so comfortable. But I made it up. I made it out due to the stomach becoming a little bit empty again. So just to get a little workout exercise in, I decided to walk to try to find a local place to eat which was very easy only a block away i was able to find a restaurant called parliament and um i definitely uh, was able to consume the calories that i burnt walking in like a few minutes with the selection i made okay it's definitely not the beach but it's quiet it's relaxing i was able to get away and i feel at peace the weather was nice, it's more on the warm side. Even though it still was a little cloudy, it was not raining. There was a little across the street entertainment the whole time. Pretty quiet otherwise. Pretty close to the hotel, so I didn't worry about it. But as you see, I ordered um, Beyond Burger and Fries, and oh my goodness, it was so good, but so bad. Oh, well, I was talking about the homeless guy, I guess. He decided to stop and ask him for four dollars to get back to Tuscaloosa. He said he was in scrubs. He said they couldn't help him here because he's out of the district. Huh? I gave him three. I had three dollars loose. I hope he uses it for something good. I pray for him. You never know people's situation. It's sad. So walk back to the hotel it was beautiful. I enjoyed it. The weather was still nice, but when I got back to the hotel, between the food, the heat, and the walk, I was exhausted and I needed to go to the room just to take a quick little nap and start over in a few. Yeah, I did. I was able to make it back up and go upstairs to the rooftop bar called Moonshine and enjoy the view and a few nice signature drinks. Um, the entertainment was nice. The music was planned. They had a few TVs also. Um, pretty limited space, small area. The best drink was the watermelon something. Oh, I just remember the watermelon part. Okay, so this girl finally made it back from her 10 hour braiding session. Braids turned out nice, but now it's time to enjoy the night again. Okay, so this night, about time we got ready and got out the hotel, it was fairly late. And Birmingham had just uh, started to enforce a new rule due to COVID that you had to start serving, stop serving liquor after 11. So our choices were a little bit limited, so we decided to uh, take some recommendations from locals. We hit up some local spots also known as aka juke joints, hole in the walls, shacks, but we did have a good time. Met some great, great people, many laughs, many drinks later. We had a great time and was able to enjoy the night once again.
Okay, cut, 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 cut. Anyway, let's get back to Birmingham, Alabama, the Rainbow Tunnels. These Rainbow Tunnels can be viewed in four different locations in downtown Birmingham, 14th, 18th, 19th, and 20th Street. The artist's name is Bill Fitzgibbon, which designed this light show in 2013. Since then, it has been enjoyed by many pedestrians, drivers, bikers, who all wanted to just take great photos, view the site, selfies, or take family portraits. Inside of Plum Bar is empty, but outside they pulled out chairs and people brought their own personal chairs. It was such a nice vibe, more grown and sexy type vibe. It was a live band who jammed the whole night through. I really enjoyed Plum Bar. I would love to visit again and come again to the spot. It was very nice. It's located right next to a cigar bar and lounge that you can um, also purchase hookahs from and there was a nice food truck across the street too. Okay, do you guys remember Tyrone from earlier that I gave it three dollars to because the Birmingham hospital would not see him and he needed to get to Tuscaloosa to be seen? But there go Tyrone. He looks like he's doing mighty fine right now. I'm gonna lick it to you. I got one with you. I'm gonna lick it to you. <laughs> So Monday morning I woke up so tired and exhausted from the previous partying. We decided to eat at the fish market which was a great choice. It had many selections of seafood and fresh fish that were served a very well tasty. Um, after stuffing my belly it was time to head to the airport. End of the trip. Oh, I did enjoy Birmingham and I do wish to return.